Hello and welcome to our video tutorial today. In our last tutorial, we talked about creating a slideshow and we showed you how to do that in the Platinum Edition and the regular edition. But one problem you may notice if you add a bunch of pictures to your timeline is some of them may not match the right aspect. What do I mean by that? Well, in our earlier tutorials, we talked about matching the output aspect and how to do that. Well, how do you do that for a bunch of pictures? Because that could be a real problem. Let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to drag one picture down here. And you notice it does not fill the screen up. And I don't want those black backgrounds around there. And so one way I would fix this is I would go to the crop and click on one of the open areas, right click on it, and then match output aspect. And it automatically crops this picture so it fills the entire screen. But if I add a bunch of pictures, I don't want to have to keep doing that for every picture. How do I fix that? Well, fortunately, there's a quick and easy method that you can fix that up here. Let's go up to options and go to preferences. And let's go to the editing mode. And then we're going to go right at the bottom and click on automatically crop still images added to timeline. So simple, so easy. And once we do that, we don't have to match output aspect on all these pictures. So let's try it out and see if it actually works. I'm going to get a bunch of pictures here. Let's add them down here on the timeline and see if it actually does what it says it's going to do. Let's check all these pictures out. Yes, they fill the entire screen. I don't have to worry about it. I don't have to mess with it. And this could save you loads of time. If you're doing a, a very large slideshow of 15, 20 minutes, imagine the amount of work if you had to go to each individual picture and match the right output aspect. This is a quick and easy way to take care of all your picture problems as far as matching them to the right screen size in Vegas Movie Studios.